Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. They say that when God closes a door, he makes you use Windows. Now, as far as which version of Windows he makes you use, I don't know. It kind of depends on your God. If it was my God, he'd make you use Windows 7. Your God may require you to use something like Windows Millennium Edition. And remember, that same God gave you Windows Vista. I'm just saying. We have to deal with Windows, even if we don't use Windows on a regular basis. And I know someone in the PC Pit Stop community has submitted a question related to Windows. Michael writes, I have an Acer Aspire, and he lists the model number, it's inconsequential, with Windows Vista on it. That's, that's what you're supposed to do. Every time you say Windows Vista, you're supposed to smack your forehead. That's just a, that's a new thing, by the way. I don't know if you caught that at all. Did you guys catch that? And you got to make the slapping sound, too. It's got to really... Make it happen. It is, it, is it possible to change this to Windows XP Pro? If so, uh, how do I do it? Uh, I know the operating system is burnt into the HDD, so I know I'll have to change the HDD, but what else can I do to get it to run properly on Windows XP Pro? Many thanks, Michael. Well, uh, and I'm going you will have to pardon. I'm going to suspend the whole slapping of the forehead thing if I happen to say Vista you know, for the rest of this video, because otherwise I'm going to end up with a headache about halfway through. Uh, well, first, uh, let me, uh, well, I, I, did I already give a first? I guess this would be second. Not quite sure, exactly. Uh, let me tell you that uh, it is possible, theoretically, uh, to go from uh, Windows Vista on a computer to Windows XP. However, that being said, uh, where you may run into snags is related to drivers. That would be the software that allows the hardware to work with the operating system. And uh, unfortunately, uh, some of the drivers may only be Windows Vista compatible. And so moving back to XP would be nothing short of impossible, at least if you want to be able to use the same hardware uh, that you were using when you were on uh, Windows Vista. And uh, to uh, alleviate the concern, the operating system uh, may be sitting on the HDD, that would be the hard disk drive, the drive, you know, your drive space. Uh, it may be there right now, but it's not burnt in. It's not permanent. You can take it off. It's okay. That's generally how hard drives work. Uh, so you could do that uh, and, you know, have have fun in, in doing that. There, there is also a possibility, but I'm not going to go into the details as to how to do that. I'll turn it back over to the community to go and install Windows XP, whichever version you want, home or professional, on that computer, see how well it works. Then you can go and install Windows Vista on the same computer and do what they call dual booting between the two. So you can go back to XP, which is probably recommended if you can, and the drivers are available for that particular operating system in relation to the model of your computer. See, that's the trick. A lot of the computer manufacturers, um, you know, kind of, make things difficult sometimes for users, which is a huge frustration, which you're obviously running into. So theoretically, yes, you can do it, but practically you may want to check with the uh, device manufacturers to see if they have drivers available for Windows XP uh, versus, uh, you know, Windows Vista. And uh, you could probably go to, well, in this case, Acer's website, but I'm throwing the question out there in general. I mean, obviously if you're you know, you're using a Dell computer, you wouldn't check Acer's website. I mean, there's not much logic in that. I mean, you could do it. It's just not going to get you anywhere because it's not your computer. So uh, there, there you go. There, it is possible to do it, but just watch out for the drivers. That's what's uh, that's what's going to hurt you the most. Just FYI. My email address, chris at perillo.com. And I apologize for slapping my forehead earlier in this video. It's just something that I do and had to stop doing because I knew that I had to make it through this entire video. If you'd uh, like to join me and the rest of the community, uh, tech experts who are usually less silly than I am, uh, you, you're more than welcome to join us, geeks.perillo.com. And then, of course, we've got this uh, live video feed with the chat room here, and uh, we're doing things. Don't know what we're doing right now because it's happening 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We are, however, typically talking tech, about Windows, about computers, hardware, software. doesn't really matter. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll welcome you. You can watch the video feed. You can join us in the chat room right now. Believe me, we're here at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.